How a musician becomes a star? Sure, it takes talent and luck, but it also takes being on the right airwaves at the right time. In part two of her special report, Jersey Rocks, Marie Denoya takes us to a tiny radio station with real rock and roll clout. My name's Glenn, good afternoon. This is Sneaker Pimps. WHTG Eatontown, modern rock at the Jersey Shore. Ever hear of it? Better question, have you ever heard it? It's 106.3 on the FM dial, but chances are unless you live in or around Monmouth County, probably not. Although it's heard across the river in some parts of New York, it puts out a relatively weak signal. And yet it has mega power when it comes to the latest stars on the popular music scene. It's always been viewed by the industry as an extremely important radio station as far as who we played on, you know, what we added to our playlists meant a lot to the industry on a whole. A lot of other radio stations around the country pay attention to what we do here. The station has been featuring modern, a.k.a. alternative rock for the past 15 years. During that time, it's made its mark recognizing and playing tomorrow stars today. Take that little band out of Athens, Georgia, R.E.M. They were doing opening slots at local clubs and nobody knew who they were. And we were playing them a lot. And when those folks from Seattle started up a little thing called grunge, WHTG was right there. I think the A&R people situated up in the city know enough to come down here and to start looking at some of these bands. And a lot of it, you know, they'll look at what we're playing and we'll, they'll see who we're championing. And they'll call us and they'll ask us to send them material or to tell them where, to tell them where they're going to be playing. And then they'll go out and they'll do the rest of it. And they'll make lots and lots of money. If I can walk into a club and I can have a reason to start tapping my foot, you know, snapping my fingers and bopping up and down and really getting into the energy, that's going to be good. One of the reasons WHTG tends to pick the big stars is John Venna, a DJ and music critic with Rolling Stone Online. There have been bands that I saw, you know, at the Saint or at the Fast Lane in Asbury Park with 20 other people, and then three years later saw them at Convention Hall with 3,000 people. Three years after that, go to Madison Square Garden and see them with 20,000 people. If you like the bazaar, then Matt Rock is the place. MTV's Matt Pinfield has an HTG success story, his own. Well, WHTG is a, a great radio station. It's a big part of my history. I, I went to work at HTG probably about a month into the time that it flipped from its original format of playing beautiful music to what is kind of an eclectic rock format. Some people use the word alternative, but I think it was a lot more than that, because this, and still is. He started as a weekend part-timer, rose up through the ranks to program director. A two-time winner of the prestigious Gavin Award, Matt Pinfield helped develop HTG's interest in local artists. A lot of bands ended up getting signed record deals from being heard on HTG, which is one of the great things I think that HTG has to its credit. Eve Six, and the name of that cut is Inside Out. In the past 15 years, HTG's audience has grown and grown older with the station. Its listeners, once predominantly in the late teens and early 20s, now arc into the mid-30s. I've always thought it's one of the one of the coolest things ever when you're actually right there on the Atlantic Ocean, mm -hmm. hearing the bands perform. Absolutely. You get you get like the uh, whoever the tunes in, whatever the hot music of the moment. HTG's mission remains constant. I mean, our job is to make money and to, and to be a rating success. But at the same time, we stay true to the values we started way back when with being on the cutting edge of stuff and playing different music and showing people that there's more to choose from than what other radio stations will give them. Modern Rock of the Jersey Shore, FM 1063. And WHTG's music experts say there are several Jersey rock bands on the brink of big success. On Friday, during the third and final part of our series, you'll meet one of them. They're called Evelyn Forever. And Kent, on Friday, I'll tell you all about them. That's an unusual name. Yeah, they're, they're a great band. It'll be fun. All right. We'll look forward to that part, too. Thank Thanks. you, Marie. Still ahead tonight, a check of our forecast coming up for you. Jerry, what do you have in sports? I know